Today I'm gonna show you how this guy got rich selling rocks and how you also can build a winning strategy to let your passion be the money maker in your life. I combine hundreds of hours of research with over 10 years working as a retail executive to simplify the process for you. But it wasn't easy and you will see why. Hobbies usually have a strong emotional connection to us. They make us feel good, happy, or relaxed. Sometimes because it reminds us of our childhood. It's something we used to do with someone important to us, like our parents or siblings. And sometimes because it helps us forget about the frustrations of having a job that is not the right for us. My friend Monica was in this situation. She wanted to sell knitted scarves to make it her full-time job. But her knitted scarves were not selling. My advice to her inspired this video. No matter what the hobby is, every one of them has a strong emotional response in our minds and bodies, to the point we easily enter the magic state of flow where time seems to fly and hours go by. But not everybody knows why they feel good about a hobby. That is why it's so important to tell the story behind what motivates you. Other people will feel the purpose of your craft and may even relate to it. But sometimes, even that is not enough to have people relate to what you do. That is why it's very common to hear stories about how difficult it was to make something or how long it took to create. After watching hundreds of ads and TV commercials, I picked three to show you how companies do it very often. The first example is related to one of the most beloved hot beverages, coffee. Coffee makers explain the quality of their coffee by telling you how much dedication they put into it and how carefully they selected their coffee beans. But this is the machine used to select coffee beans. I'm sure the coffee beans have fun jumping up and down until they finally go through one of the holes to get roasted. Now listen to this famous car maker ad. For the first time ever, we've completely reimagined the automobile. That looked like a complete normal automobile to me. It had wheels, they were round, and it was not hovering over the road. But that's not the only way to tell a story. Fiji water is just filtered water, and it's the bottle the one that tells the story. You may have noticed the bottle is square, which tells you it's different from the rest round bottles. Now from the front, the water inside the bottle is against a blue background on different shades, which highlights the purity of the water. And the big flower in the front tells you it's coming from a tropical place. With this story alone, Fiji water price goes up to the point each bottle costs more than 24 regular bottles. At this point, you probably figured it out that the first of three key points to have a product that sells is let your customer know they are getting a valuable product. Let them know why they should care about your product and they will buy your craft. You can apply this technique even to rocks, but I'll tell you about it in a bit. So my friend Monica decided to start telling the story of how her grandma had taught her how to knit and that every creation takes hours, long hours of knitting. But the sales were still not happening. She was missing something critical. Monica was selling her scarves only in a small convenience store around the corner of her house because she had always struggled to understand how to find her customers. I've been customer-centric for over a decade and what I said to her, it's very important, so I'll share with you too. When doing things you like, where do you go? Where do people that like the same things you like go? Comic conventions, sports events, farmers markets. One way to discover where your customers are is market data from companies like Nielsen, but that's quite expensive. Another way to find your customers is using government information, which is free. If you, like me, are in Canada, you can access census information online and for free in the StatCan website, 
and get information per neighborhood about people living there, how many they are, how old they are, where are they from, and how much money they make. Now, if you are south the border in the United States, the Census Bureau Office also has the same level of information down to the zip code. I'm going to leave the links down in the description so you can check them out. If you know about other places to check and you want to share, leave a comment below and help others that are in the same journey as you are. Another very powerful way to showcase your craft is social media. Big companies like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube are getting better and better at connecting people with what they like. They call it the algorithm which in simple words is an organizer that finds the right content and shows it to people that may like it. Just like you when you sort your laundry by color, because we all do that, right? Some of these platforms let you sell your products directly through the app, for example, Facebook and Instagram, while some others let you add a link to a store in the bio. You can sell almost anything in online stores, from secondhand articles to brand new rocks. But we are going to talk about rocks in just a bit. You could start your own website with a storefront and start selling in just a few hours using services like Shopify or even faster and simpler on Etsy. I'll leave affiliate links for both down in the description. I'm sure you already figure that the second key point to have a product that sells is to let people know you're selling. Make it easy for people to find you and they will buy from you. This applies to everything from music to paintings, from knitting to baking, from hiking to board games. My friend Monica was very excited doing everything I told her and sales started to flow in. But in some places she was selling zero scarves. She was frustrated why the same product will sell very well in some places and not sell at all in others. So I went down the rabbit hole for hours and I brought three great examples to explain why this happens. And as I promised, the first one rocks. In 1975, after hearing a friend complain about how much care pets need, Gary Dahl decided to sell rocks as pets. Pet Rock was born, and in just a few months it sold $4 million. That's $23 million in today's money adjusted for inflation. When searching on Amazon, I found the weird cousin of Pet Rock. I'll leave the link below in case you want one or you want to laugh reading the reviews. Another example is Under Armour. Kevin Plank used to play football in college, and he realized that when some fabrics were tight against his skin, it would reduce the sweat. Kevin's net worth today is $1 billion. That's a lot of dollars. We also have Alicia Schaffer. She started selling her knitted headbands in Etsy and became the most successful store in the platform, making almost a million dollars in sales per year. She's no longer selling an Etsy, but she now has her own website and a broad selection of clothing, which she also models. You may have noticed that the common element in all three is that they solve the problem. You can teach tricks to pet rock, but it does not require care like other pets do. You will sweat less with Under Armour if you actually get off the couch. And three bird nest headbands will keep your foreheads warm in the cool LA nights. A product that sells needs to solve a problem. Not necessarily a material, physical problem. It could be, for example, emotional. Missing your childhood blanket or your stuffed animal is a problem too. Now, to summarize, these are the three things you need to check to have a rockstar selling product. First, let people know how valuable your craft is, how good the materials are, how much effort you put into making it. Second, let your people find you. Be where they go, post where they scroll, sell where they click. I'm sure you make a Amazing art. Let us see it or hear it. And third, solve a problem. If you make people's life better, they will trust you and buy from you. My friend Monica stopped trying to sell needed scarves in the Arizona desert, and now she's dedicated full time to her knitting passion. Hey, wait, wait, that's not all. I got an extra jewel for you to download or screenshot at the end of the video. A strategy planner to sell your products and start making money doing what you love the most. Like and subscribe so you don't miss out the new videos. See you soon.